Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now, I'm here in Vegas for CS 2014. I'm with the Lenovo team. I'm checking out the Lenovo A859. Now, this is an entry-level device. It's not coming here to the U.S., but it's going to be available overseas in the markets where Lenovo smartphones are sold. Biggest thing about it, right about $219 outright for this device. So, if you want to look looking to import it, it's not going to cost you a whole lot. Now the uh, specs are pretty decent, you know, pretty good for a device that costs $219. You have a 5 inch HD display, 720p, so it's 1280 by 720 pixels. Now the displays, you know, uh, more than detailed enough, especially, con especially considering the size. If you can do more basic web browsing, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. View angles are okay, noticing just a little bit of distortion right there at wide angles. It kind of washes out, but looking head on, doesn't seem to be overpowering, oversaturated. It has a pretty good, pretty pleasant look overall. Design's a little bit different from the other devices we're checking out here at the Lenovo area. Now, it is, utilizes a plastic body, which is, shouldn't be too surprising just because of the uh, inexpensive cost. Glossy finish with the white, it does a good job of maintaining a pretty, pretty clean look. A little bit slippery with that glossy finish, and you have a uh, plastic silver colored trim bezel around it. Accents nice with the uh, three, with the other two colors, the black and the white. Um, so what we have below the display is your usual set of capacitive Android buttons. So the back menu and also uh, the home button. Up top you have the uh, looks like the earpiece. You have the front-facing camera, which is a 1.6 megapixel HD camera. Left hand side is pretty clean, the bottom micro USB port for charging data connectivity. You can see the microphone slightly right there. And the right hand side you have the volume control, you know, it's nice and tactile but a little bit on the flat side. Top you have the dedicated power button, it's raised more which is good, 3.5mm headset jack and in the rear you have an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with flash and you can see that it, it's just raised a little bit from the surrounding area but not that bad. So design, nothing really too spectacular with it but for the cost it should be more than ample for some people. It's powered by a MediaTek 1.3 GHz quad core processor running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. No word yet on whether or not it's going to get updated to the latest version of Android. Um, and uh, it's running Lenovo's customized UI, similar to what we saw with the Lenovo Yoga tablets, where they've kind of simplified the approach, so no more um, uh, app panel, so we have everything placed on the home screen, but you still have all the personalization aspects that you normally find. And that is just a quick look, so if you want to look for something maybe on the cheap side, not spending, not spending a whole lot of money if you're overseas, this might be a suitable device for you. So if you guys want to learn more about the Lenovo 8859, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V, thanks for watching.